Um, hi. Yeah, I look a little weird. That's because I got my wisdom teeth out. I got them out six days ago. And yeah, I still look a little weird, but like it's actually the first day that I'm starting to like look better. So yeah, just ignore, ignore my face. Like I'm having an identity crisis. A little update. Today's December 16th and I got a new camera. So if it looks cooler, that's why. And I'm really excited about it. And I think the last Vlogmas day I posted was day five. Um, that's because my camera broke. And then I had to go into a depressive episode and lay down for a few days. And then I had to order a new camera. So that's why we're here now. Anyways. So let's get started with Vlogmas Day 16. I really wish I didn't look like this. Sorry the lighting is terrible, but look, here you are. And the screen comes out sideways like that. My old camera, the screen would come out on top. So if I looked in it, it would still look like I'm looking at you guys. But yeah, I'm going to have to get used to just looking in the lens and not looking at myself, so that might take a little bit because I like looking at myself, sorry. Especially when I look stupid like this. Do you want your Vlogmas Day 16? Yeah? Okay, I can do that. So, since I was in my depressive episode, I didn't really open each one of these, but there were a few that you missed. So, I put them back in, just so you could see. Treats were in there. And then six. Six, we had a nice little penguin who is now destroyed, but that's okay. And then seven. Where's seven? Oh yeah. They just got some gingerbread, ma'am. Where's eight? Oh yeah, I never opened this one. Oh, these ones are cute. They're like real Christmas cookies. It looks like there's a snowman. There's two colorful ones. And then there's a star and a Christmas tree and a pretzel. Nine, I already gave this to them, but it's just a little, it's supposed to be a squeaky ball, but they, ripped that thing out so it doesn't squeak anymore. Day 10, more treats. What are these? Oh. I guess I already opened them, but they're just like little cookies with some frosting. Then there's 11. It's the same ones as day eight. 12. I already gave this to them, but day 12 is this cute thing that they're gonna ruin in 20 minutes. And then we need day 13. More gingerbread men. 14. More of the cookies with some frosting. 15. Oh, this one's new. This one actually squeaks now. Just like their other one. And then today, day 16. More gingerbread men. I'm gonna give you some that were already opened, okay? And then I haven't been opening mine because I can't eat it. But once this heals, that I can. You can have a gingerbread man and a cookie. And Rex thinks um, he just gets treats in his cage for some reason, so there you go. And now you can have all your toys back and a new one. So which one do you want? Do you like a ball? Okay.
Is the new one your favorite? Yeah? Today might be like kind of a boring day because I'm supposed to be healing, but I'm feeling kind of better. So I might go to back to work tomorrow, which is just Friday. So I'd only be there one day, but I'm going to make a disgusting protein smoothie because I'm not getting any nutritional things that I need in my body since I can't eat. So I'm just adding it all into a blender. I mean, honestly, it's not that disgusting. But it doesn't like taste good. So I added mango and some ice. Then I'm gonna add some of this plant based chocolate protein, which tastes absolutely disgusting. Then I have some collagen powder. I bought some like bone broth from Whole Foods the other day. And I don't know how to drink it. Because, like, I want to be one of those people who, like, drink bone broth. What is it called? What am I even talking about? This is what I'm talking about. I just bought this from Whole Foods. Some bone broth. I mean, I'm sure you're supposed to, like, use it in a soup or something. But I just like want to drink it because it's good for you, right? And then I also added these like super greens from Alani. And then I'm going to add some spinach. Mmm. Yum. Wait, I forgot to add a banana. Oh no. Is my banana even gonna fit in here now? Does anyone else hate peeling bananas? Because I absolutely hate it. It's like a pet peeve. Like I just hate touching bananas. I think they're just kind of gross. But like I can't really have that many fruits because I'm not supposed to have like seeds. Ew, I don't wanna like shove this in here with my finger. Okay, okay, that kind of worked. If you don't like milk, I'm sorry, but maybe I don't like you. And then to make it taste a little better, I'm gonna add some cinnamon and honey. Mmm, tastes great. Ugh cause suffering. Well, I'm just going to sit over there on the couch now and watch some YouTube.
Hi, how can we help you today? Hi, can I get a grande peppermint mocha? Grande peppermint mocha? Yeah. And then, can I do a grande medicine ball tea? Yeah, of course. And that's it. I'm at Starbucks right now. Um, anyways, so, I don't know if I'm gonna put in everything I just filmed because I don't know if the alarm is like too loud and if you can't hear me or whatever but what just happened is the fire alarm went off in my apartment super super loud I'm sure it hurts the dogs and cats ears so much I feel very bad for them so I grabbed everything I needed to grab went down five flights of stairs and waited outside with everyone else for like 10 minutes and then the fire department people said like okay it's okay to go back upstairs so I went back up five flights of stairs and then the hallway was fine there was no alarm going on in my hallway but in my apartment it was still just like the same screeching loud noise and I I wasn't gonna stay in there so I waited in the hallway for a few minutes and then the hallway started going off again so I went all the way back downstairs, got in my car, and left. Now I'm gonna go bring Sam a coffee because I don't really know what else to do. I don't know if there's an actual fire or what, so I just left. And I shouldn't be driving because I'm on pain medication. But actually, it's one now. I mean, technically, all of it has worn off by now, since it's been five hours. It stays in you for, I think, four to six hours or something. Hi there. Hi. Here's the honey citrus mint. And I also have peppermint milk. Thank you. Thank you. Um, did I finish what I was saying? Now I'm just bringing Sam a coffee because I don't want to, like, just sit outside my apartment and wait for the alarm to go off, especially if it's going to be doing that for like an hour. So, tell us what you're working on. It's a plate compactor. Wow. Super cool. Well, I gave Sam his coffee. Um, I'm currently like in his shop office. At some random person's desk because they're not here. Um, the cat's in here with me. But I guess I'm just gonna do some editing. I don't really know what else to do, but I'm really glad that I have um, Furbo. If you know what that is, it's like the little dog camera, but it's still telling me that the fire alarm's going off, so I'm not gonna go home until. It says that it stopped. I do have like an Arizona vlog that I still need to edit, but that's kind of it. Maybe I'll do some reading. But the dogs are outside in a little kennel that they have here for dogs. And yeah, that's kind of all that's happening right now. There they are, their little kennel. Well, I'm back home now, Sam's here, and yeah, I got an email from my apartment complex saying that like a pipe burst and they weren't able to turn the alarms off for three to four hours. And so the plan was to just like go to Sam's grandparents' house and hang out or something once his work got off. But the fire alarms turned off faster than they thought it would be. So we're back. But I just want to remind people that you need to have like in a little emergency plan. Like I'm always stressed that something's going to happen and go wrong for some reason. So like I know where the cat carrier is at all times. It's easily accessible. And then I have like a little binder of like my birth certificate and just important documents that like can't really be replaced. So I know where that is, it's easily accessible and I am able to just grab everything I need and go out the door. So I just wanted to remind everyone that you need to have like a little plan just like that too because 
bad things can happen. And if you're not prepared, that really sucks. I think I'm just gonna make some soup for myself and maybe watch some Harry Potter and go to bed. So that might be the end of this vlog because that's kind of boring to watch. So I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.